Hey guys, it's Sarah here. I just wanted to let you see what I would eat on a normal um, day for breakfast for doing the 30 day shred. Um, this is nature's own honey wheat and I really like this bread mainly because there's only 40 calories per slice and you can't beat that uh, for bread. I'm not a big bread eater, I'm not a big breakfast eater, but it helps me in the morning. It's something to keep me going. And if you're going to eat bread or some kind of uh, high carb, you want to do it early in the morning so you have time to burn it off during the day. Um, I don't use peanut butter. And I'll explain why uh, in just a minute. I use almond butter. And this is Barney butter. It's all natural. It's peanut free. It's non-GMO. It's kosher. It's gluten free. You can't beat that for me. Um, I, I love this stuff. It's great. Um, it's a little runny for my taste. Um, I have to kind of, you know, stir it up really, really good. And even then, it's still a little bit runny for me. But I only use one tablespoon. I know the serving size says two tablespoons. But you really only need one on one piece of bread because it's really, really rich. And all you need is one. Just put one tablespoon on and smooth it out and get you going for the day. This one is a uh, Maranatha. It's all natural. It is also gluten free. And this one is more, uh, the texture reminds me a little bit more of peanut butter, like like real peanut butter taste. Um, sorry, texture, not taste. It tastes like almond. Um, they all taste like almonds versus peanuts. It's really like a rich, buttery taste to me. Um, it's great. This one I got, it's a 26 ounce jar and uh, I got this one at Sam's Club for about six or five or six dollars. I think it was like five ninety five or something for this one. It's a great deal. Um, unfortunately, this little guy here, it's a 16 ounce jar. I got this at Publix and it was like nine or ten dollars. It's no joke. But I love it. This is probably my favorite out of the two. I really like both, but if I had to pick one, I would pick the Barney Butter. Um, and I'm not changing my bread. My bread is like the best ever. Um, the reason why I chose almond butter versus peanut butter is both pack a significant amount of fat. Um, you know, two tablespoons offers almost a third of your daily fat allowance. So, only use one tablespoon if you can and try not to overdo it and I know it's hard but because it tastes so good but just try if you can um, and peanut butter has about two or three grams more saturated fat per serving now if you're trying to lose weight then saturated fat is not something that you want on your menu so if you think about it that way this one's way better for you as far as that's concerned. Um, and with more than twice the magnesium, which is essential for bone building, then you would want to go for almond butter because, you know, that's about right. Uh, the carbs are the same, around the same as uh, these two are around the same carb-wise and carb-wise from almond butter to peanut butter is the same, so doesn't really matter as far as carbs go. It's all the nut family. Um, now the big difference is the calcium. When it comes to calcium, almond, almond has 692% more than peanut. So if you have a calcium issue or you know you don't take vitamins and you just want to get stuff naturally, then that would be the way to go. Um, now as far as fiber, it has twice as much fiber as peanut butter and 86% more iron and 169% more vitamin E. So in my opinion, almond butter is the winner. Now, according to prevention.com, there's a lot of other things that you can find about the peanut butter versus almond butter um, that you might want to look into if you're still not sure or... Um, uh, what is it? Fit Plus, I think. FitPlus.com also has other, other like facts 
putting the two together, almond butter versus peanut butter, and you'll see. Like, But just try it for yourself and see which one works for you. And if almond butter doesn't work for you, then use peanut butter and just put a very thin layer on top of uh, your 40 calories per slice bread and enjoy your breakfast. That's what I would have. That's what I'm having this morning, but that's what I would have on my typical Monday morning for my 30-day shred. And there we go. That's it.